NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has found the best evidence yet for emission from a neutron star at the site of a recently observed supernova. The supernova, known as SN 1987A, was a core collapsed supernova, meaning the compacted remains at its core formed either a neutron star or a black hole. Evidence for such a compact object has long been sought, and while indirect evidence for the presence of a neutron star has previously been found, this is the first time that the effects of high energy emission from the probable young neutron star have been detected. Supernova, the explosive final death throws of some massive stars last out within hours, and the brightness of the explosion peaks within a few months. The remains of the exploding star will continue to evolve at a rapid rate over the following decades, offering a rare opportunity for astronomers to study a key astronomical process in real time. The supernova SN 1987 occurred 160,000 light years from Earth in the Large Magellanic Cloud. It was first observed on Earth in February 1987, and its brightness peaked in May of that year. It was the first supernova that could be seen with the naked eye, since Kepler's supernova was observed in 1604. About two hours prior to the first visible light observation of SN 1987A, three observatories around the world detected a burst of neutrinos, lasting only a few seconds. The two different types of observations were linked to the same supernova event and provided important evidence to inform the theory of how core collapse supernova take place. This theory included the expectation that this type of supernova would form a neutron star or a black hole. Astronomers had searched for evidence for one or the other of these compact objects at the center of the expanding remnant material ever since. Indirect evidence for the presence of a neutron star at the center of the remnant has been found in the past few years, and observations of much older supernova remnants, such as the Crab Nebula, confirm that neutron stars are found in many supernova remnants. However, no direct evidence of a neutron star in the aftermath of SN 1987A or any other such recent supernova explosion had been observed until now. Webb began science observations in July 2022, and the Webb observations behind this work were taken on July 16, making the SN 1987 a remnant one of the first objects observed by Webb. The team used the medium resolution spectrogram MRS mode of Webb's MIR I mid infrared instrument, which members of the same team helped to develop. More observations are planned this year with web and ground-based telescopes. The research team hopes ongoing study will provide more clarity about exactly what is happening in the heart of the SM 1987A remnant. These observations will hopefully stimulate the development of more detailed models, ultimately enabling astronomers to better understand not just SM 1987A, but all core collapse supernova. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed our videos, subscribe to our channel for there's more to come.